All right. Yeah. Here we go. Let's play. So wait a minute. I'm watching these DVDs and I realize there's no porn with Asian men. You know why? It's got to be that small dick thing, you know? Oh, come on. Oh, there is one. Oh, I'm sorry. There is one. That's that's Kenny. I know your sister, yeah. some dumb hoe. She's terrific. Yo, 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 it's cut so that. Cute. Cut the clip for a second. Actually, I've never even slept with an Asian guy. But you know. Yo, yo, Kenny. Tell I'm, me observing, what's going my, your I'm mind. observing myself right now. I'm observing yeah. myself. Yeah, <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel that because the way you talk and as you were talking about your life story, I know you have what I have. So I wanted to ask you, what was going through your mind in that exact moment? Because uh, you were there. You were yeah, there. Yeah, okay. So, um, so basically, I'm, I'm – I've never been really a fan of being at the AVNs because it, to me it's just like bullshit. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I mean, um, I was invited there. That I think that that year I was doing some some presenting and stuff like that. So I was there, and I and um and I'm like totally taken aback. Firstly, when she comes out, um, you know, she has this whole fucking thing about black cocks and black. You know, she likes yeah. the black man. And I thing. need a man so humming like a paint can. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So she runs through that stuff, and already, like, I mean, to me, on the, on the general topic of racism, that's already not impressive to me. So I'm already thinking, what is this bitch uh-huh. like? She's she's coming out. This is the opener. She's the opener for the awards of this year. I'm like, what a, what kind of shit is this? Yeah. Um. So I'm already not impressed by even being there or the opener. And then so she comes out of the Asian stuff, and I'm like, oh girl, here we go. Um. But actually, what happened was, and I don't know if it it comes out too well um, in that recording that that you just played, but yeah. I was fucking I was I was really happy for like a moment because I was just like, whoa! Everybody when I stood up, everybody started booing her. Yeah, and, and yeah. everyone around <laughs> everyone around me was like, yeah, yeah. Kenny, yeah, fuck. Me. And then, and I was just like, oh man, I, I was yeah, just, just standing up because I was standing up. Was go on. I just want to draw just for a brief second. I just want to draw a really to me when I saw this clip a really interesting uh, contrast. Um, you know, a lot of people describe, I guess, the AVN Awards as d- sort of derisively as the as the porn Oscars, uh, as the Academy Awards of right, porn, right. right? And the mm-hmm. and the the inference there is that it's like the Academy but full of low class people, et cetera, et cetera, right? But right, right. You know, I don't know if you, you know, you've been traveling the world. You're probably having, you know, not paying attention to all the shit that happens here in America. But this last Oscars, they made the same joke. Sasha Baron Cohen uh, got on stage and made very, you know, the same, you know, tiny Asian yellow dick. Ali G motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Same exact thing. Wow. But at the actual Oscars and nobody wow. booed. <laughs> and nobody I used to like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And no one but, said it. No one. No one said it. If no one stood up at the Oscars, right? No. No. Nobody stood up, right, and right. there certainly wasn't, you know, the Kenny Styles of Hollywood standing up and giving it the thumbs yeah. down. So I got to give Watanabe it to you. Ken like, didn't I, do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, that, <laughs> what you said. You, <laughs> <laughs> right. and, oh. But what I, you know, your reaction there, you know, sort of the, the happiness of everyone booing her, is really incredible as you mentioned that because, like, you know. There, you know, at the actual Oscars, where it's supposed to be all right. high-minded, and and you know those those in attendance are supposed to be sort of like the elite of of our cultural establishment, they said nothing and they just let the same right. joke fly. So anyway, well, okay, so let me give you a bit of context. Is that I actually stood up because I was I wanted to be visible because I know like the camera guys run up and down the, the the aisle and that they try to get reaction whatever. So I actually stood up because I knew that the guy was coming back up here and I wanted to fucking be visible against uh, comedy or whatever. Yeah. So I actually was like right about to uh, get grab my date's hand and I was just about to leave because I was honestly I was looking for any excuse not to fucking be there and that yeah. would have been quite clear. Like honestly if if um, Dan Miller or like he, he's an Asian brother that's that used to be associated with Avian, if if he had come up to me and said, Oh how come you didn't do your your spot or or how come yeah. you left early or whatever, I would have been there to say, look mate the opener of your show fucking disrespect me straight away. Oh, why was I going to sit there and watch anymore? And and he yeah. wouldn't have had anything to say against it. And I would have been, you know, I would have been all right. I would have been at the bar or whatever. Back in the yeah. days, I was partying a lot. But what happened anyway? What I'm saying is, is I, I was actually taken aback because all these people 
within my earshot anyway, and all around me were cheering me and 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 yeah. and, 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 and and booing her. And then I was just like, "All right, I'll go to, I'll, I'll, I'll sit back down again." And but then for some fucking reason, and I don't know why, but I just I was maybe it was whitewashing. I don't know what it was. But when I went yeah. to sit down, someone said something. Um, I know that's right. She she follows up with a her, her, her other joke, and I'm already off sitting down, and I'm thinking, "Well, fuck now." Um, she came out with another joke, and I'm like, "What do you do? You're sitting in the crowd. You can't. You don't have a mic. You don't can't say anything." So I just fucking smiled. And, and, and laughed it on. But one thing, here's one thing that Lisa will never tell you and, and no one else really fucking knows about is that when I was uh, backstage later on in the show yeah. um, to do my piece, she mm. came up to me in the green room and she was so apologetic. She was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. And I'm just oh, like, really? whatever, love. Yeah, I was just yeah. like, whatever. Just, yeah, yeah, you know, do your thing. That's it. And, and I just looked at her and I was just like, what a fucking... If you're the, I don't know. I I have a lot of comedian friends, um, yeah. and I just think to myself, own your shit, own your shit. Yeah. You fucking wrote it.